Okay, guys, let's talk about the new features and changes on the TWB 2.2.1. So I did some changes here to make things faster and easier to work. And the first thing I did was change the F1, F2, and F3, and F4, 5, 6, and 7 keys. These two still being the same in every mode. But for the F1 until F7, uh, for color mode is the same of the old version. And for edit and inspector modes, I changed this so F1, 2, 3, and 4 will be the tools so you can get the selection tool, the, the blade tool on F2, on F3 the trim tool, and on F4 the dynamic trim tool. And these three here are free to be used in the future. The Alt F5 still being bypass color grading on a GTN inspector mode because uh, you can need to bypass it and it, so it's in the same place of the color modes. Uh, for the color modes, everything stays as the same, the playheads and everything else. The second big change is uh, on a Jitch mode, there is no more delete key and backspace key here on these two buttons. Instead of that, now they are here on these two buttons here. So you have the backspace key on the first one, on the left one, and on the right key, on the right button, you have the delete key. So uh, you can be faster doing select clip and backspace select clip and delete. So it, it's, in a, it's in a better place and you're not spending uh, uh, buttons here with this. We could free some positions uh, to put on other things that are better now. And this is a fixed thing for every mode. Doesn't matter if you are in a JIT mode, inspector, default, or print alerts, nodes, bars, anything else. This will be always backspace and delete as this is copy and paste and out uh, button, left button will be cut and out right button will be paste attributes. And here we have the backspace and delete. Uh, there's only one case that this will not be like this is in HDR wheels where this is the reset button for the jog wheel, which is min max range. So this reset, uh, but this is still being delayed. So if you, you need to use, if you want to delete something on the color page and you are in HDR panel, you can use this button to delete. Uh, you just lose the backspace, but only on a HDR panel. A, a, on a HDR mode, you can go to log and this is backspace, this is delete. This is backspace and deleting bars and doesn't matter where this will be like this. Okay. Still in a JIT mode, we changed some knobs positions here. So active window came from this knob to this knob. So it's the first knob. Now the in out, uh, changed from the first to the second one and the home and knob now is the third one was here before the knob for read time. We took it off. And now we have this on buttons here, so you have it separately and it's easier to work. So we have read time here and change clip speed here on these two buttons. You don't have it anymore here. And we are we are with a free space here for new features in the future. On the out key, now we have uh, another uh, big change. So before this, we had uh, the second bank here with the interface, but when you are editing, you need to uh, go to the interface very fast and uh, go from media pool to inspector and etc. fast and press the knob, the, knob, the change to bank and press, choose what you want on the interface and back was a little slow. So I put everything here on the alternate key. So when you press out key, and these buttons, you're controlling now the interface, media pool, effects library, edit index, and etc. until inspector. And you have expanded uh, left and right side. You can expand the uh, just turning this knob here. There's no more buttons for this function. And on the second bank now, we have the insert clip overwrite, replace, and etc. When you're editing, so you can insert clips on your timeline using this on alternate key, you don't have nothing because we don't need 
nothing there okay on inspector mode everything keeps the same and let's go to the HDR wheels here we have a big change here too uh, before we have the second bank with these functions uh, on and off and show and hide and these functions here are almost never used so I put this on the third bank and now the second bank as in any other color mode we have the control of the interface so it keeps everything in the same place as any other color mode and if you need you can go to the third bank and use these functions here uh, the open close was here before but I changed it it's on the third bank so now you can open close HDR zones but normally we open it uh, just choosing this modes and you're fine so normally you don't do not use that button but it's there uh, the HDR reset all now is on the first page so you can reset everything uh, an alternate key now has uh, the reset for the fourth wheel so it's faster reset the fourth wheel if you need just press alternate you don't need to change the bank uh, the HDR reset color and zone uh, change it from here to these two buttons and that's it for the HDR wheels and for this new update everything it's explained I see you in the next video